Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple Arcade has been out for about a day or so. It's been available to a lot of beta testers and some early previewers. If you check the App Store and you're on iOS 13.1 betas, you'll probably see it, but if not, you'll get it on Thursday. Now it comes with about 50 or so games currently. They may increase that by Thursday, but they set about 100 games by the end of the month, and then we'll get new ones every month. Now these games are different than what you have in the typical App Store because they're all inclusive, but they don't have any in-app purchases. They also don't have any other things such as skins that you can buy, as well as there's no ads whatsoever. So you don't have any ads, you just have full games like you'd get on an Xbox or a PS4 or something like that, but they're more of a mobile game. Now, there's a lot of really interesting games, but let's take a look at the App Store itself. I've been using Apple Arcade on my iPad Pro. Now I did try it a little bit on my iPhone, but I find that I like the larger screen and you can also use it on an Apple TV as well but when it's available to everyone, all of the games should work across all different platforms. So that part will be really nice. Now let's go into the arcade. So we'll go into the app store and you should have an arcade tab here at the bottom. Apple Arcade looks really nice. You have video playing in the background. Occasionally it does stutter or loop, but overall it looks really nice. You can start your adventure. You've got new arrivals. Everything at this point is a new arrival. And it just tells you about all of the different games. So if we go to the top and go into Sayonara Wild Hearts, this is so far my favorite game that I've played and I've played it all the way through. You've got your normal reviews and a little overview of what it is. And then you can just play from here. If we go back to the normal arcade page, it's really good overall. I think the only complaint, if I have any, is there's not a very good way to sort any of these. So if I want to sort, say, adventure games versus puzzle games or, or different genres such as anything, really, uh, not only puzzles but Lego Brawls, for example, or any of these different real-time strategy games, you just don't have a good way to do that. So let's take a look at some of the games. I've installed quite a few, as you can see here, everything from Assemble over to Overland, and these are all Apple Arcade games. Now, obviously I haven't had time to play every single one of them all the way through, but I have played quite a few of them. So let's go into Sayonara Wild Hearts. Every time you load up the game, it's going to show you the Apple Arcade logo. So we'll wait for it to load here. Now this game has amazing sound and you definitely should use headphones for a lot of these or at least use an iPad Pro or something with stereo speakers. It makes a huge difference. So if we start the game, now being able to use a PS4 controller makes all the difference. Using PS4 or Xbox One X makes this very playable. So we'll play through this. This is unlike anything you've probably played before. I won't play through the whole level, but I've played through the entire game. And you'll see in this particular mode, it's kind of a timed button pushing game. But then sometimes it's something completely different. It changes all of the time. So no matter what you're doing, it's a little bit different. So I expect it to change here in just a moment. And now we're on a motorcycle chasing them. So it's a little bit different than anything I've seen before. It constantly breaks the barriers of what I expect from a game. It goes into everything from retro arcade to a fighting game. It's incredibly different and definitely worth checking out. Now, of course, we have Frogger, and every one of these games seems to have to load over again when I go back into them. So if I start a new game, exit the game, I can go back into the same game, but if I go back into a different game, it's going to reload the game every time. I've noticed that at least on this iPad Pro. Now with Frogger, it lets you select what kind of controller you want to use, and just about every game here allows you to use a controller, which makes all the difference in the world to me personally. So this is Frogger, it looks great. They showed it off on stage at the keynote, but it's nothing incredible. It's not something I would actually pay $5 for, at least Frogger. Now, some people may love Frogger, uh, but not me personally. So this one, I wouldn't necessarily get the Apple Arcade just for this game, but you'll see you can just zip through here and it's a little bit different when it comes to Frogger. It doesn't remind me of the, the first one. It seems to be a lot easier. Now let's go back to the home screen here. Now we'll go into one more game, Rayman. This is very much like Rayman on the Xbox or PS4, only you don't control the movement, you control the jumping and kicking and things like that. 
So we'll wait for it to load here. And on every one of these, I've been very impressed with the graphics and the sound. All of these games are very, very polished. So it's definitely something I was pleasantly surprised with and pleased with. Now, as you can see here, that's Rayman. If you've never played this game, it's just a side scroller with usually very good sound and music, even on the normal games. You'll see I don't have to do anything for them to run, but I can just jump through here and play through like a normal Rayman game. Uh, I had one of my kids play this game. They really liked it. They love Rayman and they enjoyed it. They found it to be a little bit challenging as well. So it does get harder as you go on. So it's one of those games that you either like or you don't like, but I think there's something for everyone with Apple Arcade. Now there's all sorts of other things. Mini motorways I seem to like a lot and I played Agent Intercept a little bit and I'll be going through each one of these. Now the real question is, should you spend your money on this if you enjoy games? And I would say for the most part, yes. The game Sayonara Wild Hearts is definitely worth $5 alone, and they're supposed to add new games every single month. And these are full games that seem to be very well produced, at least so far from what I've seen. So if you like free games where you want to collect coins and things like that, those are going to be available forever. I personally don't play games like that because they drive me nuts. I don't want to collect coins. I want to play through a, a solid game that's well made. So I tend to play PC games or console games that don't have any of that. So there's no ads and, and all of that. That really appeals to someone like me. And then I can share this with family members. That makes it even better. So it's very much like Xbox Live. And there's a lot of nice games so far. Now, if they don't add to this in the future, it's going to make a big difference. And then I'll probably cancel the subscription. So at least try it out. If you have availability in your country, try out the games. It's free, I think, for seven days or so. And if you enjoy it, great. Pay the $5. If you don't, go ahead and cancel and you got to play a few games that maybe you enjoyed or maybe you didn't. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you subscribed to this? Are you trying it already? I'd love to hear your take on Apple Arcade. I also think it will be very valuable once it's on Apple TV for everyone as well. So you can use a controller with that and it's sort of like a home console for casual games. Some of them aren't casual games though and can get more in depth and I hope to see more of those. So maybe going forward, we'll see more and more of that. But overall, I'm impressed and I'll definitely be paying for it at least for a month or two. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to see more of these videos as soon as they're released. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.